Chapter 9 Games of Olden India Reva is busy in video game. Parun is busy in gadgets in his room. Younger Abhi is playing games on mobile. Just then, there comes the youngest Chia. She asks her grandmother about the games of her days. We could see every child, even youngsters, busy in their gadgets. Have you ever thought how did ancient people have recreation in their leisure? Surely, they also had board games like we have today. Snakes and ladders, chess, etc. It was thrilling to glide up the ladders and annoying to slide down the snakes as in modern times. Do you know the game of snakes and ladders was devised in India over 500 years ago? Back then, it was known as Vaikuntapali. Earlier, it was a play-way method to teach good values, gliding up the ladders and bad things like stealing and cheating, sliding down the snakes. In the medieval time, then came Ludo. This is a very popular game still in modern days where you move ahead on squares according to the numbers that you throw on the dice. If you land on the same square your opponent coin, his again goes to home square. In India, it was known as chopper or pachisi. Royal families and kings used to play it with huge enthusiasm. As time slided, it became famous as Ludo. You can also find mobile applications of this game. Isn't it interesting? Indians have always been very creative in inventing games. They do not need boards, coins or dice to play exciting games. A popular game in South India was Palanguzi, which is played on a board that has two rows of little pits. Generally played by two people, You begin by first filling each pit with a certain number of shells or seeds. Then you take pieces from one pit and drop the last shell. The player who collects the most number of shells wins. Sometimes people make two rows of pits in the ground and start the game. Chess Chess Championship World Champion in Chess But you know this most famous game was invented in India as older name was Chaturanga. This is a brainstorming game which requires you to think and move your places very cleverly. In the game, two armies face each other. The first row has all soldiers known as pawns. The second row has all the important people, the knight, the bishop, the castle, the queen and the most important king. In the game, Each army protects its king from others' attack and at the same time tries to attack an opponent's king. Other than the board games of India, ancient people used to play various games. Women of early days used to play Gutte. Gutte is played with five small rounded stones. You throw one stone into the air and pick up the other stones before the first one comes down. Then you catch down the stone that you had thrown in the air. It seems easy, but actually it requires a lot of skill. Ancient games are replaced by mobile gadgets, but kids do not know that those games, which are played physically with our family members and friends, have their majestic lure. Once you start playing them, you create recreational bonding among each other.